I mean, the, even the idea of, and we hate to use that term privilege or blessing, but even the idea that you have the ability to dismiss is a, is a privilege, exactly. right? Like you, you have the ability to not think about it. I cannot change my skin tone. I cannot live another day uh, without recognizing my blackness, right? The, as soon as I, you know, drive into a, a Wyoming gas station or not a gas station, a Wyoming uh, grocery store looking for some products for my hair, they're not going to be there. And once again, I'm reminded, oh, I'm black and these products do not exist for me. As soon as I get on a, a, a plane on, a, on a, a foreign flight and I try to flip through the, 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 the movies that are available, I don't see myself and I realize, oh, I'm black. And so I can't turn that off. And, and what, I, what, I, what I think uh, the notion of this, this kind of blessing or the, the ability to put the blinders on um, is because what my white brothers and sisters tend to think is that they don't have a culture. And, and that is an indicator of uh, this, this blessing, this privilege, right? Is that you, you, you believe you don't have a culture. So when you go out to eat food, um, when you go out to eat fried rice with shrimp, you call it Chinese food. Why is it Chinese food and not normal food? Because your food is normal food. But if you go to China, all of a sudden, that's normal. And what is your food? It's an indicator of your culture. Mm. And so I, th I think that the blinders are on in terms of, well, we don't have a culture. Why can't everyone just see things from this vantage point? Well, that's a, that's a benefit that you have of being able to turn those off. Where as black people, we can't turn that off. Mm -hmm. We can't just you know, close the curtain on it and just live our lives. Um, we're always dealing with these, with these realities. So again, I, I, I really, uh, uh, to, to the point that Dan made about lamenting and, and having a heart for what's going on. I also think um, putting, you know, for my white brothers and sisters to put themselves in positions where they have to learn from their black brothers and sisters, where they have to find people in leadership that they have to say, this is the voice that I've got to listen to because I don't know. Mm -hmm. and, and I've got to be okay with saying, I don't know. I've got to be okay with saying that Though the world inundates me with my perspectives, because a lot of times our cultural narratives can, can guise themselves in the form of righteousness. You'll think you're right because everything else around you seems to agree with your perspective. Yeah, yeah. And God has the right to critique that. Mm -hmm. God has the right to say, no, 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 no. I can critique that. The Roman Empire was everywhere. Doesn't mean it was the right perspective or the right way to see things. And so I think taking the time to listen to your black brothers and sisters would be, would be helpful.